this is the I am sick starter pack. I got chicken soup with rice from uh, Whole Foods, bread, Gatorade. I have coconut water and kombucha in the fridge, so I'll probably just be chugging more liquids all night. As you can tell, I'm still very congested. I took today off, and then I'm also taking tomorrow off just because I really think that I need to rest. I'm headed to the East Coast on Sunday. Hopefully, I'll be slightly recovered by then, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen with everything that is going on this weekend. I have a friend landing around like midnight so i'm gonna go pick her up not the best idea but i also didn't know that i was going to be sick when we planned this trip which is really unfortunate <sighs> i'm just kind of bummed i feel really guilty on one hand for like missing a whole week of clinic but at the same time it's like i'm doing the best thing by staying home and so i just have to really respect my body and rest i'm going to sit here drink my soup drink my gatorade watch a movie on netflix or something doctor's orders i can't afford to be sick and i don't want to miss any more clinic than i already am i'm dying i'm gonna take this intense defense shot cheers Oh, that's too spicy. Oh, what is that? Habanero pepper juice. for another interview and I am so happy to be here. I love New York. Still feeling a little congested, but I think I'm slowly getting better. We're just gonna power through today. Let's do a quick um, OOTD. Plaid blazer from H&M, black knit top, also from H&M. The same shirt as my cream top, different color. And then all black trousers, also from H&M. Shoes from Aldo. I'm back from my interview, so I thought I would do a quick little recap. I feel like interviewing takes a lot of social energy. We had a resident social last night and then basically a full day of socializing today as well from 8 until about 2 or 3 and you're free to stay even longer if you want but I think I had a good amount of socializing today so I ended up coming home after we were able to tour all of the facilities. So my interview was at Columbia which I never thought in a million years I would even have a shot at. Definitely feeling 
the imposter syndrome. Just kind of have to remind myself from time to time that I worked really hard to get to where I am and so I do deserve to be here. I just applied because I love New York. I've always wanted to live in a big city and it would be a dream to be here in my, you know, 20s just to like really live it up. I've always been on the West Coast, so it's comfortable, but I think at this stage in my life, I'm ready for changes. And New York is very much so out of my comfort zone, but there's so many things to love about New York. Just walking around, being here, it's so diverse, which I love. There's just always something going on. The food is good. It's so convenient to get around. To be out here for three years, I would be so happy. Just gonna manifest that into the universe. The East Coast vibe is also very different so it's something that I would probably have to adjust to because I feel like West Coast we're very laid back, we're very chill but also the world of ortho is pretty chill so I guess there's that in common. I really really liked the interviews. I felt like the residents did such a great job of making us feel really comfortable getting to know us and in terms of the interview sessions themselves I had two of them. I felt like both of the program directors really Really tried to get to know me. It was super conversational. I don't even think we talked about anything ortho related during my interview aside from the fact that they saw that I was in trays and they asked how far along I was and who was doing my ortho treatment. But aside from that, we didn't talk about research. I think we might have talked about like one thing on my CV that they found interesting. I felt like the conversation flowed very easily. I am a big fan of the program. I really, really liked it. I'm very happy about my experience here. I'm gonna change and just lay down. I need to be horizontal. Dinner time. I got some tonkatsu ramen. I think one of the downsides of where I'm staying at is that if you don't have a car, I feel like it's kind of hard to get around. Granted, I think New York is a very walkable city, but I don't always feel the safest walking by myself at night anywhere, regardless of where I am. So today was the day for me to just order in. Lighting sucks, oh well. Mm -mm -mm. But if you do live along a subway line, then life is convenient. For me, I'm used to having like a car. I hardly ate breakfast or lunch. I just kind of like munched on stuff prior to my interview. I'm gonna watch Sex and the City. Thought it was fitting considering that we are in New York. Jolene, how are you doing? It's a uh, summer's time. Sorry for calling so late, but today was not an easy day for me in terms of everything they did. But I'm home now and just uh, trying to unwind. I'll be up for a little bit if you want to call me back or you want to call me tomorrow, that's fine. I hope you're doing good. I'd love to hear your voice and uh, just call me when you can. I hope you're doing good. Bye.